Yeah, man. Uh, we back again. Grandmaster Tawa Ramanuba, Grandmaster Ayaleo Amlak. Sizoni Grandmaster Agemanje. Skulumang is seen. Yes. What and who we are. Serona Sarona Garuna. There is a big thing. Mm -hmm. There is what you are and who you are. And who you are. A lot of us are Christian. A lot of us are Rasta. Sing a coach or pen and they not manage to criticize Abanya Bantu as Kulumat. A lot of us are Rasta. A lot of us are Hindu. A lot of us are Muslim. That all falls under what you classify yourself as, what you are. There's an element of who you are that I'd like us to talk about now. Let us reverse time. Let us reverse interactions. Let us reverse colonialization, slaveries, and all of that, indoctrinations. Let us go back to a time of pure essence where a child grows up in the context of an African Bantu family. No outside influences, no comparisons, no Christianity, no this, no that. Let's talk about who that child becomes now, instead of what that child be becomes by choice. Who, what? Let's separate the two first. Give thanks. Um, yes. Um, who we are, Bantu is who we are. And uh, from Rasta point of view, I'll say Rasta is what we are. Uh, that is what something you adopt in life. That is why your mother is not Rasta, your grandparents, your ancestors are not. Or Christian is what we are, or Muslim is what we are. But uh, who we are, Bantu is who we are. That is African is who we are. And it's, it's, it's hardly a subject of debate. Nobody will argue with you and say you are not African enough. Mm. But mm. Uh, in Rastafari, we're going to say you are not Rasta enough. You are, or you are not... Christian enough, or you are not Muslim enough, based on certain Criterians. adherence with certain dogmas, doctrine, mm. and all of that. So who we are, we come from God, and everybody come from us. Ne? <laughs> like, black, <laughs> like black people, we come from God, okay, and everybody come from us. I said more than once that there is no single tribe in Africa that does not have a name of God, mm. a concept of God. Mm. Mm. But also, these ethnic groups or <laughs> tribes or nation, mm. Uh, uh, the Zulu people, they'll tell you they are from a Zulu. Yalo, 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 yalo. Wabona Dumbuluko, Shikwembo, Shatil. Wabo Ismagatese Zulu. Wabo all of that. Mm. But if you study the science of genetics, they, they are, most of these white people who love to claim Africa, they said, we come from Africa, meaning we come from a black woman. Now, they did their own study, their placenta analysis, and they conducted a study of 140-something mm. females to determine the common origin of all humanity because they can only determine that through a female uh, 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 study or analysis or through an organ found in a woman's body called the placenta through the framework of mtDNA, mitochondrial DNA, what they say the mitochondrial Eve. Now, they find that... All the women that exist today, they come from one woman who existed 300,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. Meaning that we have ability to produce albinos, uh, which albinos are pink like the white men. They have a blue eyes like the white men. They have a blonde hair like the white men. They have a problem with the ultraviolet sun rays like the white men. So, Therefore, the white race is the albinism of black people. It's a recessiveness of genes. It's a lack of genes. So they come from us. Within their own science, you know, within their own science of homo origin, uh, uh, monogenetic origin, the common origin of all ma mankind. Uh, Juluka, Johnny Tlek, wrote a, a song called uh, Scattlings of Africa. 
Mm. It is based on that idea that uh, everybody else come from this continent. So, so this is then evidencing what I'm saying to you that uh, we come from God and everybody else come, come from, from us. us. And, and they're mutations of us. Mm. And mm. in their mm. process of mutating, they gave humanity three types of people. The people of the sun, which is us. Yeah. Hence, they say Ethiopia, the land of the sun-bent sun people. people. Mm. And then you have the people of the ice, which is the white men. They said, uh, whether you go through Antony Brothers, ice men inheritance, mm. um, or these other theories of the Europeans that it was during the last ice age mm. that mm. these people who mm. migrated from Africa, mm. or they, whether the Cromagnon, uh, or Neanderthal men, yeah. mm. so they got caught up by ice age, and then their skin started to mutate. Then they mm. become white, mm. their hair become long, mm. and all of that. Mm. It is within their own science. Mm. Uh, so that they, this is where you get the ice people, and the story and, of the Grimaldis, and, the Grimaldis, mm. and all of that. This is where you get the ice people, and then you have the people of the sand, which is the Arabs, mm -hmm. the Asians, the Asiatics. So they have different ways of packaging it. They will say. Humanity is divided into the Negroids, the Mongoloids, mm. and, and the Caucasoids. Mm -hmm. uh, so, or if they take it biblical, they're going to talk about Ham, Ham Shem, and Japheth. And then um, there was a question that is being asked that if humanity come from Ham, uh, Ham Shem, and Japheth, because they say we're the Hamites, mm. which is another theological created story that have a lot of racism within it. Mm. When they started to coin this idea of <clears throat> we Africans being the Hamites in the table of nation, Genesis 10, mm. they start mm. to mention that out of him came Mizraim, which is Egypt, uh, Libya, mm. Put, Kush, and, Kush. and Punt, mm. the first four children mm. that all then become the primogenitors of all the black Africans. races. Now the question is what race was Noah? the father of the black race, the white race, and the, and the yellow race. race. What race was he? Probably a multiracial individual. Maybe he was colorless like water. Yeah. But, anyway. <laughs> but anyway, you see, this is the story they keep on creating to explain. To explain this one but monogenesis phenomena. Now, the reality is that we are told about the origin and the evolutions of others. Mm. Nobody knows when did we begin. Nobody knows where do we come from. Even these ones who have studied the Bantu, some they mm. say we come by the Benu River mm. in West Africa. Mm. The Benu so, Congo theory. The Benu Congo theory, the Congo Kodofan theory, mm. the Niger Congo mm. theory. The Congo theories. All of these things All are these theories. theories. They are gripping on straws. Nobody knows where we come from. Mm. Now, let me tell you where we come from. We're the Bantu. Uh, and we are Bantu soul. And we are Bantu soul society, mm. African spirituality. Now, as the Bantu, we know the teachings of our ancestors is that our soul existed the moment God came into existence. Mm -hmm. When we, in some of our creation story, like uh, the Nguni creation story, or uh, Nguni cosmology, and some of our ontologies, mm -hmm. they talk about umuntu mm -hmm. the same with Ungulungun, mm -hmm. that the source of man and the source of God is the same, is source. The same source. So we were not created by God. We coexist with, with God. God. We understand? came into existence with God. So, we are God having a human experience. Mm. Uh, our soul exists because God exists. Mm. This is our evolution, our own creation stories. If you go according to the Bantu cosmologies, where do we come from? There is, you hardly get a story among us where they talk about God creating a human being mm -hmm. or creating even the cosmos mm. and, and, and the universe. And just to, to, to bring context to what you are saying, to Africans, God is not an individual in a location somewhere. Yeah. Short story. Robert Moffat is in Swaziland, mm. what is known as Swaziland today. The king there is Usopus, mm. the first. Mm. And Usopus, uh, they have a debate with the key, with, with Robert Moffat, the missionary. Uguti, who is God and what is God? God. Mm. They have this debate about God now. Umofat talks about this God in heaven. Mm. 
Mm. Usopuza talks about the God of Amaswat, mm. the God of Amanguni, mm. the God of Abandu. Mm. Now, a challenge came up. Mm. Uguti, I'll give you seven days mm. to present your God physically, Simbon. Mm. And Robert gave the same challenge to the king. Uguti, mm. now, in seven days, I want to see your king, your God, mm. in flesh. Mm. Obviously, seven days went by. Now the challenge day came. Wagu kwele la pes kodu en senkos. Kukwele wonku munto umswat. Every single person who is considered umswat was called. Nenko mozake, ne zimvu ne mbuzi zake. Now beba la pes kodu en. Now the question is seven days later, where is your God, Robert Moffat? No, my God is not. He can't be seen. He's in heaven. Mm. Then we cannot believe in such a God. Mm. And then same question to the king, Usopuz. Mm. Where then is your God? Mm. Would you see every single person, mm. Gwangwan, named mm. Omozab, mm. with their goats, their sheep, their chickens, their dogs and cats, mm. that is the God of Amangun. Mm. Everything you see in our land mm. is God because we come from God. Exactly. You see, this is the same story. Now, when you go to Halloween, why the Botswana talk about Mudimu or Halloween, and then they have a geographical location on Earth to show you the evidence. The evidence that they have there, Halloween, which is Komuchudi, mm -hmm. uh, is a cave with footprints of Batu mm -hmm. people and their cattle, mm -hmm. and there's, there's this big footprint of Matsie, mm -hmm. who's supposed to have let the people out and came back alone. So this is what they call God, collectively. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to the, some, uh, most of our stories of people coming out of the reeds mm -hmm. or people coming out of the great waters, like the waters of Nu in Kemet or the great waters of the lakes, uh, Great Lakes regions. They oh, no, say, Zinga, Gwakos, Oka, he, Baban, Bumla. Yes. Now, these stories, they always tell you that we came out with everything that we know. Mm -hmm. Those Barolong Morola Tsipi, Lebonot, which is Hamola. They came up already with their trade. And those who, you understand, they didn't come and learn their trade. They didn't learn it yet. They came, came with, with their it. trade. Ama pele ba ti be shang eslu lu benga shele si zibe sheluk busa. So the mandate of why they came was already in, in place. In place. They didn't find, find it them. yet. They didn't find the mandate yet. They, their purpose. They came with their papers. They did not mm. find their papers. They did mm. not come here and begin to search for their papers. <laughs> they came with their papers specifically. That is Susuke Ezulwe. Now, this is our stories of creation uh, that talks about even what we know is mm. of divine origin. Mm. Even what we know, we don't, if no one can. That is why you see, when it comes to indigenous knowledge system and the concept of the IP, intellectual property, mm -hmm. the copyright and the patenting. You can't tell me who's the first person who originated PAP. Okay. But you can tell you that who came up with KFC. Yeah. About who came up with this Western food. Who and came all up that. with Mkomboti. Who came up with Mkomboti. Nobody knows. No, nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Understand? And when did they come up with this? And why did they come up with it? You, you see. We know KFC was a fraud. Because yeah. this man stole this woman's recipe and yeah. at a certain date, Kakali KFC. Yeah, because you see, that time slaves were not allowed to own anything. Exactly. So this man, that kennel with the glasses, <laughs> uh, had this cook who was using this recipe. Mm. And then he went like, don't share this with anybody and went and patented it and mm. came up with this thing. Mm. Because mm. slaves were not allowed to own any property, patenting, copyrights. They were mm. properties themselves mm. of, of the slave master. Mm. So they can't have property. So now it is the same with our knowledge system. Our knowledge system is a, is a community knowledge. It's a collective it knowledge. To anyone. That is why in our African spirituality, we don't have the originators of this. The founders of this. this the founders of these religions. <laughs> you know. No, Inkolo Yabantu. Inkolo Yabantu. Inkolo Yantu. So it comes from Abantu. You see, it, it is owned by Abantu. It is a, it's collective. It's because you don't come up with your own knowledge. We have inherited knowledge uh, from the people who have inherited it. So it's been passed on 
over and over. So the African knowledge is a communal knowledge, the community knowledge mm -hmm. that belongs to the Africans and applied for the Africans and among the African people. This, this is what we always said in Rastafari, that Rastafari is a black power movement created by black people for black people within the context of black supremacy. So now when you have some white Rasta come up and try to talk about one love, and then they jump highly slash speeches when he talk about Pan-Africanism, and <coughs> the part where he talks about the response to colonialism and slavery, and when I just say, we must all love each other, mm. and there's so much uh, we'll quote in the Christian speeches of Haile Selassie. When Haile Selassie told you that I'm a Christian, a Muslim, and a Piagan. Mm. Now, they don't deal with the Piagan side of Haile Selassie because mm. the Piagan basically mm. is a euphemism for the African traditional belief system that mm. existed in Ethiopia. Mm. So the Christians of Ethiopia and the Muslims of Ethiopia refer to these indigenous communities as Piagan mm. or Piagan tribes, Romos, and so forth. You understand? But it is another name that they've been referring to to, to our that practices, are, our practices, mm. our indigenous culture, to us, to us as Piagans, mm. like most conservative Christian out there who are watching us, they're just thinking, these guys are heathens, these are Piagans. Mm. Who we'll give them platform to spew mm. so much hedonism? Mm. Mm. Understand me? Mm. Mm. But the reality is, your conditions to look at yourself is a psychology of self hate, because it is designed to suppress this. There is no way you're going to rule the people without making them lose their mind. It is the psychology no. of self-hate. Self -hate. Whereas in the Bantu religion, we apply a psychology of self-love. Mm. Mm. All of this comes to say, it, it, it brings it back to me. Yes. But at the end of the day, Yes, you may be Mufuking, you may be Poka, but your father was Mufuking before you, mm. and his father before mm. him, mm. until the very first Mufuking, who is God. Mm. Exactly. You see, uh, this is the thing uh, with the self. The African self and the other self, it's mm. not the same. <laughs> the other self, it is defined as an ego. The they person use, you create in the in, in the mirror. Now, what they, they what they call ego mm. will not fit into us because everything is about you. Is is exactly. is talk about you. Our knowledge system they said heal thyself, know thyself. In, but um, tubare, in, ukuzaz, yes, yes. Kasi tubare riuruta yang mietlo. Limiluku, yaba bango osa iti ya he. What does that mean? How do we teach you about others when you don't know yourself? When you don't know yourself. Now, our things are based and on... And that, that's going to be interpreted as ego in the Western perspective. In the Western perspective. But what they call ego, we call it ena. Okay. It's the root of li ena. Yeah, it's the root of li ena, le ena. Mm -hmm. The self. The self. Now, the self is not something that is so much wrong that you must wage a battle against yourself and, and call suppress. it ego. ego. And you, 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 in this Western Greek metaphysics, you're spending a lot of time trying to suppress the self mm. because this self is called, is happened to be defined as an ego. Well, now, this is where the problem comes in, that uh, with us, it does not, does not go like that. <laughs> Even in ancient Kemet, for once to enter into the mysteries, what they call the mysteries, into the teachings, mm. is know mm. yourself. Exactly. In African initiation system, Libullo, it's about you. Mm. So now we, our system does not wage war with the self. It's a system of the other that created this condition of psychology of self-hate. And now what we're trying to do is to bring in the psychology of self-love. Mm. Zitande, yiti abantu. Mm. Understand me? Mm. And there's nothing wrong with us being abantu, and we must be proud of that. I, I saw another ignorant brother on... Uh, on um, no, the ignorant are not ignorant. The, the ignorant are ignorant... Of their ignorance. Of their ignorance. Mm. Uh, but it's unaware, not their fault. The they're unaware, unaware that they're unaware. unaware. That they are unaware. True. So, so His Majesty said it is... It is bad to be ignorant, mm. but it is evil to be proud of it. Ish. So now this brother is proudly ignorant. He say, from now on, I will not call me Umuntu. Do you know what Ntu? Ntu is the ancestor of Abantu. <laughs> so then he started to delve into the Bible. In the Bible, say what would I say again? Madness. You're using the Ish. Bible as a final judge of all African of, cultures. Okay. 
phenomena consciousness and thought. Mm. Now, mm. Ndu, yes, it's our ancestor. That is why Ba, ba Ndu. Mm. But Ndu is the sky god in Kemet. Okay. They call him Nut. Mm. He's the sky god. That is why there is this thing that Sibuya uh, Ezului. Mm -hmm. But it is a metaphor that we come from the heavenly, like Nom Kublan is referred to as Inko Sazana. Yezu. So we come from a heavenly, a cosmic, cosmic source. In ancient origin. Egypt, in, in ancient Egypt, we had uh, we did not have Mother Earth. Mm. We had a Mother Sky, sky and Father and Earth. Father Earth. Mm. Gap and Nut. So within that particular consciousness, it is recognizing the ultimate creative feminine principle, mm. which is mm. called Ma mm. or Ninavanu Ma. Is a is is an Earth goddess, the womb. That gave birth to us the womb of the universe, Tarias Cha. That which is called Ndu. That which is called Ndu. Mm. Now, this Ndu, when we say Ban Ndu, Ubu Ndu. So this Ndu, the stem Ndu, it is um it is affected by different uh, determinative. Mm. Uh, mm. As Alexis Kagami will say that uh, we don't have prefix, we have determinative. Okay. It is the stem ndu is it is affected and given meaning by this determinative. Isi ndu, uh -huh. ubu ndu, umu ndu, ba ndu. So who is ndu? Mm. To discover ndu, placid temples, when he's trying to cover these things, try to study the mind of the Baluba. He wrote a book called The Bantu Philosophy. Mm. Uh, Philosophy. Mm. Mm. which it eluded him. This is a Catholic priest who uh, worked in the Congo from 1936 to 1960 there. And then he wrote a book called The Bantu Philosophy. Now, in the process of trying to find out from the Baluba people, which is another branch of the Bantu, what is this Ndu then? Mm. Because you are Bantu, 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 mm. Isindu, Kintu, Kantu, mm. Huntu. Mm. Now, what is this Ndu? They said to him, for you to ultimately comprehend into the whole universe must stop. Okay. Like, yeah. nothing else have a meaning. So, uh, because now everything has lost meaning. <laughs> because now, what in essence, what they are saying is, whatever you thought you knew, you have to wipe it out. Yes. And this is the, the, the dichotomy. Mm that Africans are facing mm. because they've been taught something, their African reality is subconsciously coming out without anybody controlling it. Mm. Like you said, yes. and the 60 and to 70% of them, because somewhere along the line, you lost yourself. Mm. Now, Without that understanding, that contextual understanding, understanding. Mm. 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 Knowledge in Africa is an African phenomenon. Mm -mm. It's not a secret thing. Puna lento manje eti, I wa nungumtu ana pumela nga pande kuluma bantu abatad. Whereas in Africa, umtu ana ute zalwa, already say ni title of umtu umtad. A first born child gibo, ngeskosa siti nkunu, you cannot have any family discussion without that child there, mm. whether or not three years old or seven years old or 14. Because amongst Nina, he's probably older than some of you. Mm. Some of you have bigger brothers. Mm. So by position of Isintu Sake Nguzalwa, Mtala Lomuntu cannot be treated mm. like a child. Guna mm. Dr. Umafungwash, the first born daughter. Mm. Sesibatala Sifunga Yena. Nothing happens in this home without us affirming to her. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, there is now cultural context to that. Uh -huh. Now, you mentioned the firstborn. It's a cultural context to that. You mentioned 
somebody who inherited Igamalom Kuru. Aha. There's a cultural context to that. Now, it is not in a general scale. Eh? And even when they say, uh, it, is, it is information in terms of relativity and relative acceptance. Like what they are doing today, they'll say parental guidance, 18 years, uh -huh. 16 years. Because they are setting information, they are then ahead from childish point of view can be misinterpreted, misinterpreted misconstrued, mm. and, so, and so forth. Or there is something we are talking uh, about because again, you are not supposed to uh -huh. in front of Abantuan in a way that is found to be not appropriate. The context of, 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 of this, 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 this mention is that in terms of knowledge, in terms of the wisdom system of Abantu, Isintu is something that is practiced publicly. Whereas religion is something that an individual goes to theology college, and comes and instills Lento. Now, it creates that dynamic yoguti kunomtom tala ningabantu ananina, even in our maturity. That is the context in Kuluma Oguti. In terms of knowledge mm. in Africa, mm. mm. we do not have the divisions. Zoguti, this is not for you, that is for you, this is not for you, mm. as in Christianity, Christianity. As, in, as in religions, mm. the hierarchies and all of that. But contextually now, the practice of Isindu, we are talking the difference between who and what. Mm. The practice of Isintu comes back mm. to Uguti. Fundamentally, we are people, we are people of God, coming from God, mm. returning to God. God is our source. Mm. Religion now takes that privilege from us and says, no, you are the children of God. You need to make a way to work towards mm. that power dynamic. dynamic. Let's let's yeah. let's break that down. Um, you see, this is where we were saying that um, we exist because because God exists. Ah. God does not exist outside in, in our idea of God. In our African idea of God, is that one of the reason we have God in these cosmologies is to give meaning to our existence. Uh, mm. you know mm. so the five questions yeah or the three questions yeah. where do you come from why are you here where yeah, are you man. going yeah, um, so now that being the case of identity we I told you that in some of our creation stories the source of man and the source of God is the same I told you that according to our band, the law of the soul um, in our own African spiritual culture, our soul exists because God exists. Mm. Um, uh, that uh, our soul came in ex into existence the moment God came into existence. Uh, so our existence is intertwined. So now this thing of trying to torment the people that you need to bend over this way for you in order to return back ah. to your source. It's an earthly scam. That is why when we go into our African spiritual culture and African spirituality, bare batu batso wena mopong, batla hutela wena me aho. They come from you; they will return back to you. That is why in our African spirituality and what they call African religion, uh, which I needed us to also clarify these two concepts: mm -hmm. that African spirituality, in African, African religion. traditional religion, what they call ATR. That you find in this. A, a spaces, there is no hell. There is no Satan. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. in most indigenous cultures of the world, the devil, the idea of Satan is not even 3,000 years old. Mm. Uh, it's a product... Even in Christianity. If, even in Christianity, mm. it, is a, it is part of the Abrahamic religion. Uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. In Islam. It's them who have this Satan. Mm. But if you come to the African religion, African traditional religion, African spirituality... You don't have this mm. idea of Satan mm. because then Satan is a boogeyman who is there 
for the uh, for the purpose of the church. Okay. In an African, okay. Satan is a boogeyman who is there to serve the purpose of the church. Ngesintu, can we equivalent Satan to Ihoho? Ihoho, okay. But now because of... It's your, a system that we use to keep children listen, out of certain places. Listen, the church says you are children, children of God. Uh, Number one. Number two, the church says you are sheep. Mm. Now, sheep is the dumbest animal, you know mm. that. Stupidest animal, ne? Sheep. I food. I live by So now, you are compared to the sheep. Mm. Now, the sheep, they move by mob psychology. Mm. Group mentality. Mm. That is a religion. Mm. Now, these sheep, uh, they spend the whole time being afraid of wolves. Mm. Only to be eaten by the shepherd. You Ish. understand? So, this is what the religion does. Um, is spending the whole time scaring Warning the people, people about, about the devil, devil when it's the priest when actually who are raping biggest... their children, the, the pedophiles, the thieves, mm. money launderers, all of that, all criminality. I was, I was, I was reading this book last night, God's Lunatics, mm. and this Kofi Kamala can remember it. Mm. This priest, so called inspired God prophet. Mm. He, 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 one of the first sex religions mm -hmm. uh, in America. Long follow, he realized in the long run, no, no, no. He used young women, beautiful young women, to go and recruit new members to his church. Mm -hmm. And then he saw that, no man, the church actually makes more money, mm -hmm. more recruit, mm -hmm. than actual teachings. Mm -hmm. So he actually went outright and prostituted these girls mm. for the sake of the church. Mm. Now, yeah. how many others, how many other sheep are going around scared of the wolf, but they are forever eaten by the shepherd? A whole lot of them. And that has become the hallmark of a religion as we know it, one one of the one of the three branches of Abrahamic religion. Uh, for the past ten years, we have seen all of that. Mm. We talked about that earlier that the uh, people get beaten and what. Pastor, look at Bushiri for one. He got so super rich mm. uh, from these people, ne? and even buy a Maserati for his little child who mm. can't even drive. Gore mm. is rubbing it on you. Well, about, Bonnie, he's about, just showing you. Yeah. And and no gari bua no gas gas ya bua. Ke plus jab. Ikom fana di plus six. Ikom malau ya bua. Ota mu. Ota ropa. Ota ropa. Everybody must South Africa. 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 Ota ropa for African people. Hence, I say that Ish. Africans need to go to their African traditional religion. Since they can't separate with religion, uh, Africans need to build their African church. Since no, they can't separate with religion. Now, now, now I understand you. Melegua Kiwe, an African church, church. With an African religion, with, with an African, African clergy. Religion. Yes. Because... You and cannot and we're not separate talking, people from and, and we're not talking about the imitation of a Christian clergy. Yeah, because you see, African theology, as we talked, uh, that these inventors of African theology, Bo Reverend Sitilwani, Bo Bombiti, John Biti, Abongubane, is, is to shape, they, they take, is this thing of saying you're going to rewrite the Bible or you're going to, to interpret the Bible the African way? Mm. Well, this thing's not African the structure of it, the essence of it. So therefore, remove the whole thing. Go and fetch yours. Civilization is when you modernize what you have, your mm, culture. Mm. So to say we're civilized, it means we have to take our African things, modernize them. Even if it means to say, of course, naturally, we did not have a Bible, but now we're living in a time where people can read and, and they like, I love to read and write. So then we must write our Bible. What stops us from writing our Bible and then we go and try to adopt other people's Bible and start to plagiarize it and, and do whatever, twist things there. Look, I was at the funeral yesterday. I'm listening to this mama. She's a preacher. 
powerful voice. But there's one thing she keep on saying, and they're saying it Africans so much. Uh, uh, oh, yes, one Nazareth, number one. Israel. You know that Jesus is bent now in Israel. Yeah, they yeah, made man. a legislation. They've made a legislation. Yeah, like the people who are saying now, Israel. They, they, have, a they have a problem. Now they have a problem. And then another says, <laughs> We are more Christian than the people who brought us Christianity. Okay. We are more religious than the people mm. who brought us mm. religion. True. Now we need to go, we need to sank of it. Mm. We need to talk about Sankofa now. We need to go back and fetch that which we left behind. This is the sad thing. This is the sad, sad, sad thing to watch. Oguti, people are going around Jesus this, Jesus that, Jesus that. Jesus was Israel. Jesus was Jerusalem. Israel. Jerusalem. And Jesus is outlawed in Jerusalem. Think about it. Again, sit down and ask yourself. Undovu. It is a good job. It is it. Uma zibugo. Emambueni. Gibo. And it's it. Uma zibugo. Imbo la se mambuen. Ingo la se mambuen man. Imbo. Emambueni la apo gibo. U outlawed. And we outsiders are busy saying Uma zibugo. Ingo la se mambuen. But labantu laba omwela se abamaz. Take it back to Jesus now. The Jews don't believe in the Jesus. The Jews don't believe in Jesus. And, and nobody called them Antichrist. But me and you, when we, say we, we when we talk about it, we are called Antichrist. Antichrist. But the Jews is official. They don't recognize Jesus. It's been official and, and for years. And he's a Jew. And, okay. said, and now his own people don't recognize him. And we who's got no relationship with him, with him is not our relative. And we are, are called all sorts of names for, for saying. We, we don't deal with that. Okay. That was le 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 no le zim shop as a fool. So funa le elm nyama le na wana send me. Ok to go where to man go serious. Of course, that is where we're coming at. That you see, it, it psychology of self hate, mental slavery, all of these things. They come to the point whereby it's like ready be. So when it's like refinti, because you say uncle uncle wa se Israel or uncle uncle wa ma Israel, and you don't find anything wrong with that. Baba, and, and you don't. You don't ask yourself, but why we don't talk of okay. Nkulu Nkulu wasi Africa? Let, it, it, we talk about thing. even when we say Nkosi Sikelele Africa, we're not talking about Nkulu Nkosi wasi Africa. You know that. No, we're no, talking no, about no, no. Nkulu Nkulu wasi Israel asikelele Africa. Another stupidity. You go to Israel now. Israel is defended by serious atomic bombs and nuclear bombs, not by this god and guns and, and soldiers guns and, and and not this god okay. of Israel. The God of Israel the God is of not... hosts, Jehovah Sabaoth, the God of many armies. I'm telling you, the rabbi, if the God of Israel was a defense, the rabbi would be the minister of defense in Israel. Okay. Because he just have to unleash God of Israel. Yeah, he just has to pray. You understand me? But it doesn't work. Now, it, we try to make it work for us. Do you even know any African country with a nuclear bomb? Nuclear bomb is a deterrent. It's, it's something that says, Kata Lamon. No? Yeah, it's a deterrent. And it, and, 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 oh, 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 Oguti uba ba uzala mina mina nzalin dota ni dota ni zalin dota na and then long biza baba long biza mkulu long biza kulu long biza koko long biza kulu kulu an long biza mkulu mkulu. Now six people from me, I'm going to be the next mkulu mkulu in my family, but that does not mean I created. This is where now the concept of mkulu mkulu and God yashuga. You see, you see, when we're talking about what we are saying now, that the Africans must go to their African religion. The Africans must go to their African spiritual culture. They are still going to need teachers, abafundis, uh, in that particular line, because we need, they, we need to explain the difference between this idea of God, this is Eurocentric colonial idea Ish. of God, that when you say God, you're talking about a creator. Yeah. Like he, a God equals to a creator. Mm. And in African cosmology, we don't necessarily talk about the creator. But it's because people <laughs> associate God with creation. 
Mm. Mm. I told you that the source of man and the source of God is the same source. And that is what we know. But what we don't know is who created these things. And we don't and, ask and, that. And, we don't, it, and it don't matter. It doesn't matter to and us. And it never matter to us. <laughs> we came here to live here. And since she alone to our descendant, yeah. it has never been a necessary information to say who created this. Because for you to say that for sure, you must be an eyewitness. You must have seen it being created. So is an unnecessary information is a non-essential, like how the church was during the lockdown. Was the, it was a non-essential. Something black people don't need. Now we have to create an essential here. We have to create a, a black great, church. An essential. A black church As that, we said that uh, even lockdown will not close it. Yeah. Because the soul of the Bantu depend on it. Our day to day. A church it's, that will bring about moral regeneration in the context of Ubuntu. The church which will bring about cultural identity. The church that will teach us that every day is Heritage Day. We don't have to wait for the 24th of September to wear some dashikis. And then on the 25th of September, we're going back to our Eurocentric clothes. Understand me? The church that will teach us to understand that Nesintu, uh, you have to respect your parents, your ancestors, your lineage, all of these things. That is what we need now. Something that become an essential to black people. The church, the lockdown proven that the church as we know it today the church is non essential. So it's one of the things that when you close, you must close it because it's not so important. I believe uh, we saw um this from Shang at Lapa during lockdown. Because of foster mm, mm. But because of Kibu Conmen, they shifted by the online churches. Let it come. Let that money come. That is why as if you put in a scene, they don't need coins. Now, the church is not silent. Now, we need to build the black church. And we need to build, to define the, uh, the African traditional religion. Let, let's touch, touch that part. The African traditional religion, Africans, we say Africans, we never had religion. We're spiritual cultures. And since we never had a religion, we don't even have a word for religion. For religion. Now, but we're living in a time now because now we're dealing with neo-African culture. Now, neo-African culture is a product of neo-colonialism, which have us now articulating this Africa in English because we have become so diverse that one language that we can get to hear one another is this colonial language. So we apply it as a, you, uh, as a uh, 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 utility uh, uh, for, you, you, we apply it as a... As a useful tool. To, as a useful mm, tool mm. to communicate among ourselves. Mm, mm. Because the Africa, we have Africa that is in Africa and the Africa that is in the diaspora. Ish. And and the awakening is for all Africa for Africans at home and abroad. Mm. Now those who are in the diaspora, if we start now, me and you to speak our languages of South Africa, not only, like, they won't hear anything. Yeah. But because we're talking about the awakening of Africa in the broader scale of the black race, yeah. it's a, it's a race consciousness, is race first. You understand? Now within the context of awakening the black race. This aspect is very important. We talked about economic freedom. We talked about political freedom. We got it in 1994 in South Africa. And then we have seen how freedom can be used. We are hearing of economic freedom. But we haven't touched about the cultural freedom. We haven't talked about where you are culturally free to express your culture. We haven't talked about the African spirituality uh, freedom. Hence, we don't have a single country in Africa which is based on, on African tradition traditional religion. The court as fung e lozini. As fung e lozini. Yeah. Melo fung e pezuke ba ebe. Fule, yeah. Waya waya. And I said, even if you don't believe in it. Even if you don't believe in it. But you must You go to national conferences. You... I went to a conference. I went to a conference. I went to a They had argument among themselves. I attended the second day. We gate crashed. We were not even invited. But one of our sources was like, hey, who to the Department of Health is having this consultation for traditional healing? I think I sent you a message. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, yeah, I was yeah, there, but it was yeah. already like around It was late. already late. Yeah. I, was, I was away. I sent you the message. So we went there, and then one of the arguments we had that the Abbasango, and then they got... They said the opening, and then one of them were tandas. Now it is creating this Ish. cognitive dissonance, mm. this problem. 
it can guy Christianity with this thing. Mm. So these are one of the challenges that we still have to deal with them. I think, I think, I think, and you mentioned something, and I'm as no I'm putting my head on the chopping block or not, but a lot of people are out there talking about African spirituality and this and reawakening. To use your words, mm. a lot of people bar rise, mm. you know? Mm. I think we should get a couple of these leaders in this movement and actually sit down and have a conversation. A, a conversation. Yes. Oguti, actually, what is African spirituality? What is African traditional religion? What is this new African face that we are trying to build so that we don't build 10 different faces with the same name? You, you see, we talked of Berlin Conference. At one time, I said, Africa, exactly. we need, we we need, need our, our, Berlin own, Berlin. Our, our, Berlin. our own Berlin, Berlin Conference. Conference. We need our own Council of Nicaea, where this, I, I, I critique something about uh, the great Bishop uh, Joshua Mapong, mm -hmm. but it's a constructive criticism. It's mm -hmm. not destructive. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And it's not in any way disrespectful mm -hmm. to him mm -hmm. as a person and uh, as an elder and as a knowledge holder. This it is to critique something that you find that yeah. this is, it is problematic. Mm -hmm. But it, on a larger scale, you are correct. We need all of these uh, uh, messengers, is to your gamins, who have been now sent. Uh, we need to come together and have that particular conference and map out the thing and maybe even take a conscious decision that we consciously create an African religion. Uh, because we see that you can never take away the Africans from religion. We consciously write our own script then. We can consciously... The Europeans, God come from one group, you know, the North exactly. and the Scandinavian. Exactly. But then God, they came and find a way to come and use this one name that come from one group and make it applicable to all of them. So if we're going to come down and say, listen, which one we think is the most profound name that covers everything and cover us as cosmologians? Mm. Because we are cosmologians, we're not theologians. Mm. This is mm. the other thing to mm. explain why we don't have theologies, why we don't have script, is that we are cosmologians. Now, we come down and say, we think Rama Sedi, for example, it, is, it covers everything. Or it talked to us in our cosmology, Ra is the sun, Ma is the moon, Sedi is the stars. So mm. it's like, speak to us as cosmologian. Mm. So therefore, this is a name we hold, we gonna hold as the high God. But we know that these 3,000 names that we call God with in Africa are, all are going different to be names. Defined. Are different. I mean, look, in Islam, they have 99 names of Allah, mm. which they say they are the 99 attributes of Allah. Mm -hmm. So we have 3,000 names of we can have 3,000 attributes of the one entity. Yes, because at the end of the day, that is what it is. That is what it, it is. is. It is that everyone... All of them, they all are they... referring to the great spirit. True. True. So we had great spirit, great belief, and great knowledge. I think... Now, I'm not saying let's conclude mm. on that. I'm saying great spirit... Great knowledge. Great knowledge. Great belief. Great belief. Yeah. But, 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 yeah. Because now, if I think all these people, because now what's happening is too many platforms, too many points of view. This is another platform with another point, point of, of view. view. Too many platforms, too many points point of, of view. How about we sit down? and harmonize and have seven days for that conference for that matter because mm. people sat for months to plan our destruction mm. why can we not sit for a few days mm. and plan our ascension mm -hmm. i'm challenging the thing is uh, bishop mapong koko uh, lerato koko sofia tau tau haramanupa ayaleu amlak and every other one with a voice. I'm challenging all of you. Prophet Magaja. 
I can even offer accommodation if I have to for that conference. But I went to get logo so that we can come back out of that conference with one African voice for the sake of understanding one African religion, one cosmology that is untainted by all these foreign influences, whether it's Greek, whether it's Egyptian, because Roman, it's, Christian, yeah, man. You see, you, um, and this thing, it should not be seen as something odd. It is actually common. You see, the government will create a legislation for the traditional healers. Uh -huh. And then, Without the traditional healers in that legislation, yeah, or, or maybe with them. But the idea is to create one framework uh -huh. for the traditional healers. The government will create a legislation for IKS, uh -huh. Indigenous Knowledge System. Now, if they can be legislated, the African Union sat down and agreed that they will use Swahili mm. as mm. A, the African language, mm. with all the misgivings we might have around that. Now, there is a general consensus developing that some people want to call this country Azania and so forth. Now, if it, there's nothing odd with what you're saying and, and, and making uh, uh, out there, announcing out there that uh, we come together for the sake of the soul of Africa. That's it. Because here it's about the band to soul. Mm. And for the sake of the soul of Africa, so that then we define the lines uh, and, and so that we, we don't have areas of conflict, uh, we don't have areas of... A conflict of interest uh -huh. because our interest is the people. Because so, at the end of the day, this is me and you, our perspective, mm. and our perspective is not the universal perspective. But but I think the the, the the quickest thing we can do is we can just organize a conference and then send invitation mm. to these honourable members, these messengers, uh, these Abasindis way too. To the come, light bearers, the, the light, light carriers, carriers of our generation. They, they are custodians. So it is a courtesy that we owe to them at the end of the day. So we must talk to them, not talk about them. We must, we must talk, we must, we must talk to each other, we must not talk past each other. Mm. Because people are saying out there that hey, they, they are saying a whole lot of things. That's man. the thing. Hey, they, now we are confused. Now we must not allow our people an excuse to remain ignorant. Because that's ah. what they do. When one are remain ignorant, that hey, not as as manje, hey, kin 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 they pit us against of, each other. Of course, that, that they, is um, way of zile, u, mm. manje ni nani, mm. and then they, they, they. The thing is, we all have these individual schools. Mm. Understand? Some of my students will end up in your school one day. Mm. Some of your students will visit my school one mm. day. Some of their students will come to, and then uba mm. ile onto guti ya patla paya na guti wa. Ai la paya na guti ganti. If ti na we could have mm. that conference, that one voice. Mm. Of course, we won't apply the Mokfana. I've got my Rasta background. You've got your mm. Bingy background. Omnione background. Of course, we will not express it and say it the same, mm. but we can have a common ground. Yes. So that even in future, we can prevent the pitting against each other. Now, that is when unpopular opinion or ourselves will be closing the talk shop and open the workshop that the whole thing, it is not uh, remain on a talk shop level. Now it goes to the workshop. Uh, because we see that it's going to, it is creating conflict already. Now that is what the Berlin Conference was about. You see, these people were fighting for the resources of Africa. Mm. So they had to sit down and see how they can share these resources. We are fighting now for, for the, the soul. Of now we are fighting for the soul, mind, and heart of the Africans. Uh, Abba. Yes, King. Grandmaster. Nyabong. Uh, I wish that this conversation can go even further beyond the screen. But mm. and I would like us to hold it there before we, we pin it, we pin ourselves with more challenges. Mm. And not that we won't be able to handle, but a bite at a time. Mm. Siabonga, give thanks for following, give thanks for subscribing, the likes, give thanks for the comments, the many questions. 
Give thanks for the suggestions. And I still promise we are planning this uh, question and answer session where we can have an open panel and talk. And the books are coming. Uh, the printers are busy with them. Uh, we, we promise we are on the way and everything will be there. Again, June 16, those who can make it, Credo Mutua Village, we're going to celebrate youth and talk about the future of our country. Give thanks and may you be blessed by whatever God you believe in. Give thanks. Mudimua Africa, Abelilu Nama Africa. Let's go to Mudimua Israel. Mudimua Africa, and then go to Sigelele Africa. And that you go to Sigelele Africa, you go to Africa. Not because it is important to understand that there are many questions around that, but we will come to them. We'll come Thank to you. that. Give thanks. Cool.